We live in a world where human-made noise is inescapable. We might use a gong bath to kind of get into our own minds and escape daily thoughts and anxieties, but actually we're saturated by sound. And um, just to go back to the distinction between noise and music, you know, noise pollution is something that lots of studies have talked about being connected to dementia, being connected to other like physiological problems. I don't Mendel if you wanted to comment on that. But I feel like that's something that is not it's not funny. And so biodiversity sorry. loss because noise pollution in the oceans is affecting an enormous amount of creatures. I mean most most uh, when you drive out of London, whatever route you happen to be taking, and you can see the houses on either side of these fast roads, you say, you know, fortunately I don't live in, on one of those streets. You know, it would be a, for me it would be a nightmare. And in fact, I do remember once uh, spending a night in, actually in Oxford, well, a long, long time ago, and there were lorries driving right through the night, and it was totally impossible. It was like a torture to listen to the lorries driving through the night, and I couldn't sleep a wink. Hmm? I mean, it's almost impossible now to go anywhere on the planet and not hear a human-made sound. We really? don't need to be on the motorway. Yeah, but, mo you know, there's, there are degrees, aren't there? You know, the motorway is one thing, living on a motorway or a very busy, fast road. And the other thing is living, you know, in a, you know, in a forest where they're, in, in, you know, in the countryside where maybe there is distant noise, you know, but not really noise that is going to hurt you too much.